you want to write the epitaph of Kingfisher Airlines in advance, uh, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. No prospective investor would touch Kingfisher in its present state. There is a realization amongst employees also and general public also that the promise that uh, we'll get the money and all that, it doesn't seem to be correct. Hello and welcome. You're watching We Mean Business. I'm Shweta Rajpal Kohli. The suspension of Kingfisher's license has added to the gloom in the aviation sector. On the show today, we're asking if Kingfisher will be able to fly again. And if not, what will be the impact on the aviation industry? Let me introduce our guests on the show today. With me here in the Delhi studio, Mr. Dheeraj Mathur, Executive Director of PwC India. Also joining us on a link, Mr. Ajay Prashad, former Civil Aviation Secretary. Mr. Jitendra Bhargav, former ED of Air India, joins us from Mumbai. So does Mr. Ashwini Kakkar, Executive Vice Chairman of uh, Mercury Travels. Many thanks all of you for joining us and sharing your views. But uh, first let me give you an update on the meeting between Kingfisher employees and the management that took place in Mumbai which remained largely inconclusive as the workers rejected the airline's offer to pay three months salaries in a staggered manner. Let's first listen in to what the management had to say. We have to go back to DGCA with our resumption plan. We will share those plans in, uh, you know, in, in the very near future. And once we have their concurrence and their um, approval, we will open the flights for booking. We had about eight representatives from uh, pilots and engineers what about the from rest? different bases. You have ground crew. They, those people continue to report to work despite all the challenges, they, have, they never stopped coming to work and, um, and, and they still continue to do so on a daily basis. Have you communicated anything about the other, you know, the other overdues, the four months? I'm beyond, sorry? Beyond the beyond three months? months. From the there on, months. we'll pay one regular salary every month and we have committed to clearing the areas uh, once we are recapitalized. Fezan Khan now joins us for more on that story. Fezan looks like the stalemate is continuing. Another round of failed talks between the management and the employees. Well, it's clear from this round of talks that the employees are very much firm on their decision uh, that they, they will be accepting only minimum four months of salaries by the management before they can join back work again. Well, what the management uh, had offered uh, for the employees uh, that they are willing to pay uh, for a salary up to three months uh, in three different uh, tranches and that is basically not acceptable by the employees. This is what the employees have told us. Uh, the stalemate continues as of now. Uh, there could be possibly another round of talks. Uh, remember, uh, the employees, uh, uh, the, the management is being engaged with the employees uh, uh, very uh, seriously since they have to be uh, on board uh, in order to get any flight plan being made and approved by the DGCA. While the employees seems to be uh, quite firm on their stand as far as the payment of the salaries are concerned. Remember, the salaries onwards March have not been paid uh, to the staff and they uh, have said before the management even that uh, minimum four months of salary will be acceptable before they can join back work. Thanks very much, Fezan. And now let's listen in to what Civil Aviation Minister Ajit Singh told NDTV earlier in the day. Looks like the government is also now losing hope. The minister says it looks absolutely unrealistic that Kingfisher will be able to fly again. That's a matter of concern on humanitarian grounds. Uh, but what can government do about that? Mm. See, it's within the management and the employees. employees. And the uh, fact also remains that uh, all these employees uh, were hopeful that, uh, well, there are problems, we haven't been paid, they were unhappy and all that. But they were still hopeful that uh, Mr. Malia will arrange and mobilize the resources somehow. Mm -hmm. That's why they stuck on for that long. Mm -hmm. And the uh, fact also remains that the civil aviation sector is not in a position now, mm -hmm. at this point in time, to absorb these employees. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be a problem, yes. A lot of people are really worried about that. They see uh, s thousands of people without a job and the, the, the man in charge of the airline 
isn't answering any questions. He's not answered any questions to you either. He's certainly not given any answers personally to his employees. Yes, he hasn't. And uh, as you pointed out, there seems to be total disconnect between the employees and the ownership. I mean, somehow, the and it's not only in this case, many cases here, the companies go bust, employees suffer, but the uh, owner uh, doesn't seem to suffer anything at all. Realistically, sir, do you see this airline flying again? It will be very difficult. Would the government be in favor of this airline flying again? See, if they could fly, that would help the banks, that will help the oil companies, the airport authority, that, of course, employees, that's a big question as you raised, of course, they will have their jobs. And uh, even the people who flew Kingfisher, see, they all liked it. Yes. That was, that a, pleasant, was, that was a pleasant experience. So they will also be happy. Yes. But uh, it's not, see, the government cannot do, give any bailout. That's right. the whole point. Right. So in that, and banks are not going to lend any more money. Yes. So it's up to Mr. Malia, and he has been saying all along that he's talking to investors, and if FDI comes, he'll be able to mobilize. Uh, but I think at this point in time, it seems very unlikely. All right, the Civil Aviation Minister there talking about the Kingfisher crisis. But let's move forward and try and understand, will Kingfisher be able to fly again or not? Mr. Ajay Prashad, is it really the end of the road for the airline? I'm afraid it does look like that <clears throat> because though the license has been suspended and not cancelled, it does leave a window open for Kingfisher and Mr. Dr. Malia to see if he can uh, do some uh, superhuman effort to revive the airline. But it's going to be a very uphill task and uh, given the situation today as it appears, I find it rather unlikely that uh, in the foreseeable future they will be able to fly. Mr. Jitendra Bhargav, everyone could see this coming, but why is it that we s took so long for arriving at this decision of cancelling Kingfisher's uh, license? Uh, do you think the government or the DGCA gave it a very long rope? I don't think anybody would deny that DGCA gave a long rope. Ministry of Civil Aviation did not act when it ought to have. Let's go back eight to ten months from now go. Kingfisher was defaulting repeatedly in repaying loans, depositing tax with the government agencies, paying the oil companies, paying the airports, paying the employees, etc. What else did you need to, to come to a conclusion that the airline did not have the funds to run the airline properly? One is what Minister has been saying of late, that only when the employees went on strike, safety of the operations was, were at risk, that DGCA intervened. But what we are conveniently overlooking is the fact that DGCA had been summoning DG, Kingfisher management time and again every time there was disruption in operations. They gave a certain assurance which they did not live up to. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.